Hey, good afternoon and welcome to another hiking trip through Mount Tabor Park. It is Thursday, the 4th of June. The world is on fire and I uh, am on fire with it. But I am taking a couple hours off to just decompress and come out here and do my regular thing, which is important for me to do. Uh, just jamming out to Monster Magnet. It's one of my favorite bands. Uh, we were power tripping. Love that band. After this, I don't know, webisode. Uh, go to your Spotify. I know you have Spotify. Get it. Type in Monster Magnet and then have a field day. I know what it is. The older I get, the more aggressive I want my music to be. I don't know, I don't know why that is. But it's true. I'm a total metalhead now. Kind of more doom. I'm kind of a doom rock guy. Stoner rock. I love it all. And uh, heavy guitar. I want heavy, heavy ass guitar. I want to feel it when I go play. When they go play live, I want to feel it go through my body. I am so comfortable at a Yob concert now. That's that's me now. But hey. 20 years ago, I was super into Elvis Costello. I still love Elvis Costello. What's not to love about Elvis Costello? We're in a part of the park I don't normally go into, so <laughs> we're on the kind of uh, west side of the park, kind of looking for the reservoir, which I think is down this way. But this, this looks like someone's driveway, so I'm, you know, I'm going to move around. Maybe, maybe I'm not supposed to be here. Let's go find a trail. Hey, how about that? Uh, well, working to find a trail. That's where we're going. Hey, look at that. That looks like a trail. Let's go that way. I can't get that far away from home. I mean, I'm just blocks from my house, this active volcano that we're on here. One thing I know about the park, a little bit of history. The, uh, the park here big destination point to Portlanders uh, back back in the day when very little of the east side of Portland was developed this was an oasis this was a place that people took their families and and uh, it was a real destination point and it has since come like most parks not so much a destination point for everybody there's a nice bird <laughs> um but a uh, few of us come and we enjoy it. And you know what? I like it that way. Ah, uh, yes. We're on an adventure today. Hey, I see water. Hey, you know what? That was the right way to go the first time. That's all right. We'll get over there in a second. Huffing and puffing because you can't tell, but this is very steep incline in which I'm going up here. Whew. I'm gonna go down this little trail. All right. <laughs> Welcome to what goes on inside my head when I'm quietly looking for the right way to go. I'm gonna make it through here. It's a bunch of people, but hey, look at that. Isn't that nice? Let's head down there and talk about rock and roll, shall we? Okay. Well, as I was saying, I've met every type of music people. You got your rockabilly guys, you got your metal heads, you got your new age guys. So, and I did this because I worked in a record store in Hawthorne between 1986 and 1996. And, uh,. While working there, here's where I met all these types. Yeah, I get to work in a record store during that whole grunge era, which is pretty cool. She has no idea this is going straight to HBO. It's not. But hey, look at that, isn't that pretty? What are we talking about? Types. 
and everyone kind of falls into their stereotype. Some people just play right into their stereotype. Find me a goth person right there. And I nearly got killed by young people on bikes, but it's all right though. I'm still enjoying myself. It's, it's pretty out here. There are a lot of people here. It's going to be hard for me to tell you my philosophy on all of these types of people. This is obviously the busy part of the park that I'm in right now. Um, but these uh, folks come into the store and I've learned that the more laid back and relaxing your music is, the music that you really love is, the more uptight you are. And this was played out many, many, many times. The most laid back guys you're ever going to find are metalheads. I find this to be absolutely true. It used to be when I was younger, we would think of your typical metalhead as being an angry barroom fighter. That's just not really the situation that we're in right now. Um, but uh, your guy going through the new age section, your, your Wyndham Hill guy, well, he's going to be very persnickety and uptight. And this played out for me one day while working behind the counter at the record store. Finally, I get to my store. Here it is. Um, uh, we had this policy at Bird Suite Records on Hawthorne that we would play anything the customer wanted you to play. So if they brought a record album up to the counter and said, hey, can you play this for me? We would play it, and that would be the music in the store. Policy of the record store. Um, and so, this guy comes in, who is a, you know, he's in once, maybe twice a week. He's in, and for a long period of time, and he will go over the classical new age section of the CD case like he's never seen it before and be there for an hour going over the stuff, making you play stuff for him. Um, and uh, so he's been in the store for maybe a half an hour when this big, big metal guy comes into the store in a leather jacket, studs, he's got the tattoos. black shirt that just says death on it nothing else yeah he's in the store and he comes up to the counter and winces at the music that's being played in the store well uh, the new age guy he sees this and he gets real ticked off that uh, the guy winced at his music and uh, calls over to the guy yeah yeah uh, yeah that's Beethoven I bet you've never heard of it before <laughs> and the metal guy doesn't engage at all he just like looks at him and just looks at him and he goes over the counter and pulls out a sepultura album and says hey man when this is over with can you play this for me I'm like yeah i'd love to do that and so i played the sepultura album right after the beethoven he pulls out a claude debussy and we play that and then we get uh merciful fate after that and then it it, it it just kind of this music war ensues in the store until it comes to a point where they're actually yelling at each other in the store and uh, the little guy goes on this long diatribe about the uh, mathematical qualities of classical music and on and on and the, and the metal guy lets him go and as soon as he's done the metal guy turns to him and goes yeah Debussy's all right you can't fuck to it <laughs> and that was the end of the exchange the little guy from the new age section picked his stuff up and took off out the store door and the metal guy true to form didn't even laugh at his own joke and that is my story of the day. Bye.